Well, I told you at the top of the show that we had a great lineup and our next presenter is no exception. He was in the fire service for 40 plus years. He started trading futures on his off days 40 years ago. He has a great presentation full of brand new cutting edge material. Ladies and gentlemen, here to present discipline manager is Mr. Stephen Tremper of Tremper.com. Welcome back to Traders Corner, Steve. Uh, hi, Anthony. Can you hear me and see my screen okay? Am my mouse moving? Yeah, we can see all that. Good. All right. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, Rob's out. Or I thought Rob was going to be here, but that's okay. Yeah, Rob, um, Rob had a career change. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. one of the one of the uh, one of our presenters scalped him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, welcome aboard then. <laughs> um, well, anyway, I just uh, yeah, I, I, my intent here today is to hopefully just show some people, uh, you know, how I kind of was able to struggle through some of the issues that I, I went through. And so that's what I'm here today. I want to just kind of give a little brief introduction on the discipline manager and uh, and some, you know, how to set your, you know, risk and goals and whatnot and monitor your, your status and control. Today. This is more for futures traders. Um, uh, I suppose it could be done on anything which it monitors the account. So I, I only trade futures, but um, I guess it wouldn't really matter as long as it monitors the account. So needless to say is, you know, what, what is, you know, and, and do you need a discipline manager? And, you know, I'll, I'll, I want to explain and show how to establish the rules inside of the discipline manager and give some examples of what will happen once limits are breached and then the cost in today's special along with uh, how to download it. You can start writing it, running it right away and check it out. And then any, of course, any questions and answers. So a little bit about me real quick. Um, I was in the fire service, uh, retired in uh, in 2019. Um, I started learning some futures, uh, you know, on my off days and, you know, trying to figure out what to do. And and then I just started playing around full time once I uh, once I retired. But uh, now I strict I mean, I've I've done options and Forex and all that stuff. And I just strictly do the futures. It's just to me, it's just easier and it's just so much so much better, um, but you know, to each his own for sure. Um, but I still, you know, I don't want to come across as any expert or anything because I still struggle with the, uh, the psychological and the emotional. I'd be lying if I didn't. You know, things things heat up, and and uh, so when the discipline manager says, and eh -eh, then then obviously uh, <laughs> it's time to time to stop. But but that's how it actually came to be. Um, you know, as far as just my my issues, and I said there was really nothing out there that that I really wanted to have, and so I just developed it, and that's how I got to be. And then Ninja approached me and said other people might want this, and so here I am. So in any event, um, here is a uh, the, the you know government required stuff. I, I don't necessarily know. I mean, we all know it's risky business and. Uh, futures and and uh, hypotheticals, et cetera, is all risk. But I don't necessarily know if I really need to show this, only because I'm not showing you any setups. I'm not going to trade for you. I'm not even telling you what or how to trade. If anything, the discipline manager is going to stop you from trading. So I don't necessarily know if that's even a, a, an issue to be needing here. But you know what? Money management and statistics. You know, 90% of the traders fail. Um, you know, 80% lose, break even, some make money, uh, psychological emotions, the hope, the fear, the greed, that, that all plays into account, you know, when it, when you're dealing with money um, and the lack of a trading plan. Uh, and I could tell you that I was, I was there for a while. I didn't need it. I don't need no rules, you know, kind of thing. But uh, after a while, it's like, yeah, you do need to kind of get a little bit more serious about it. So you could Google any of this. That's all I did. I just kind of Google some statistics, and you know it hasn't really changed much over the years. But uh, people try to get in, and and some make it, and some don't. And now with the prop firms that are available out there, the funding firms, it makes it a little easier to uh, to use somebody else's money. But needless to say, it still rests with you. So um, you know the statistics as far as you know why did they fail, and it's just a failure to limit yourself and and over trading. Um, that was that was my issue long ago when I when I first started. I, I couldn't tell you. I mean, in the course of a day, I had 100 trades and I wasn't even trying to scalp. 
you know, it's crazy. So fear of missing out, um, just fear of, of missing everything. So you got to get in a little early instead of waiting. And then the waiting game, you know, we're not traders, we're waiters. And that's, you know, that's my biggest issue. My four worst four letter word is the word wait. And uh, I'm impatient. That's why I don't like trading the ES and even crude. It does. It, I like NASDAQ. I, I need the adrenaline rush. So you have to master the ability, regardless of what you're trading, you, you have to man, uh, master the ability to wait and self-control and you got to follow your rules. So if you write down your rules, you've got to, you got to make sure they all set up correctly. And um, it's just a matter of seeing there I am waiting. Um, so needless to say, the uh, psychological and the, and the discipline part of it, um, you know, help you deal with some of these losses and getting, getting out too quickly or holding positions too long, thinking that things are going to turn around. Um, we've all been there. I don't know if anybody's new here, how many years you have on, but we all go through this growing process until you kind of sit down and say, okay, I gotta, I gotta start something different. Um, over trading, as I mentioned earlier, the discipline manager is not going to be able to help you with your psychology, but it will help you with your discipline. And that in turn then will lead to a healthier psychology. It's all about discipline, um, controlling the losses. Whenever your average winning day, whatever your average winning day is, you know, you don't want to lose more than that on a bad day. And you've heard the old adage, uh, you know, surrender the fight, but not the battle. Not the battle. So you need to, to be able to, to kick back and say, OK, you know, this just isn't my day. Or at minimum, just go grab a bite to eat or just take a walk around the block, whatever it might be. Just get out get out of it, get a different mindset. And then um, everybody has a different account size. So, you know, 1% loss to you might not be the same as somebody else. So um, you all have to take that into it, you know, with a grain of salt there. And, uh, you know, Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett once said, rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, don't ever forget about rule number one. And that's really about it. You know, you got to protect the capital. That's That's the big thing. There's a lot of um, a lot of ways to make money with different types of markets and strategies, et cetera, but you've just got to, it's, it's all about controlling, controlling what you've got. And, uh, of the four choices, you know, you've got the big win, the small win, the small losses, and the big losses, eliminating that, eliminating that big loss from it will result in your psychology being much more at ease. Um, you know, big wins, that's great. Feel good. Uh, small wins you can handle, small losses you can handle. Um, you know, big wins is, big wins are always the best, of course. Obviously, everybody likes that, but it's those big losses that you just keep moving your stop down or just keep going in because you know it's going to turn. And once it bleeds you dry, it'll turn. And uh, but unfortunately, you won't be able to get back in. So some of the things that about stop losses, you know, nobody knows the risk reward ratio because nobody knows what the reward is. Um, Everybody tries to do a one to one or you know a two to one type of risk reward ratio, but we all know what the the risk is um, and you put your stop there. but what's the reward you could you could take it off at a certain area you know at resistance or whatever the case may be take your target off. but I could tell you I've seen that thing blow through that so many times it just keeps going without me and then you're trying to back pedal and it's, it's so I don't know to me it, it just uh, the reward part is kind of hard. You can go by averages and things like that and just just do it, but it doesn't mean it's going to happen each time. Every day is different. Um, so in any event, the risk side of the trade is just the only thing you really can manage um, Stop with the stop losses. So you don't want to move your stop loss and adjust it back and forth. And, you know, a little here and there, a few ticks up and down is not a problem, but you, you don't really want to start moving it big out of the way just to let this thing you know marinate and go because if it comes down you know it's really hard to get back up there once it gets in a momentum to go to go against you so you don't want to get caught up in revenge trading either uh, that's another one of my issues i had i think i'm pretty much over that now but um i still have my issues you know so i i, I still like to you know there was a point there years and years ago that you know i was like oh man this just this isn't for me but i just had it in my mind that i just like no i could do this i know i could do this so you go through the curve you know your your psyche is part of it you know the the equity curve you know it looks like fun when you get in and basically have no idea what you're doing and you're like oh crap that's kind of hard and before you know it you're like eh, kind of makes sense i can kind of get this and 
next thing you know, you did it and then you get slapped back and you have to start all over again. So um, th there's your own personal equity curve there. So what, that's how I kind of came up with the decimal manager. You got to protect yourself from you with your own personal manager. And, and the big companies have it, you know, if you're having a bad day at one of the big companies, you know, no boiler room or something. And then, you know, manager comes by and say, Hey, you're, you know, you're over your goal. So take the day off. You know, that's, that's what it is. So this is just the electronic discipline manager. So consider yourself the CEO of a trading company. So you're, you're your own trade, trading business and you're the CEO. So you delegate your rules to the discipline manager. You've hired this manager and you allow it then to monitor your employees, which in fact are you also. So you have this manager a lot, you know, monitoring your trading employees. And then if your trading employee, you, gets out of line one day, your discipline manager will, you know, tap you on the shoulder and say, okay, you know, I got to, I got to control the, the company losses, you know, because otherwise the CEO won't like it. And so you got to stop trading for the day or at least for a timeout period, you know, and then uh, at the following, uh, you know, board meeting, you as a CEO, not the employee, but you as the CEO could, you know, sit down and look over your numbers and your averages and things like that. And you could then change your, your risks and risk levels and rewards and things like that. You could change all that. And then for the next week, you can go into it. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to do it you don't want to be changing things on the fly just because you you know get into the revenge type situation. So that's where that comes into play. So setting your you know your money management rules, uh, the discipline manager is designed to allow you to set your own hard daily and weekly drawdown limits along with your goals. And if your hard drawdown limits are hit, then you're done for the day or week, depending. I'll just talk about the day, but you know it's got day day and weekly but needless to say when you get when you get uh when you get stopped out for the day you're, you're done until the next day and then it resets it and uh this is for new trades uh and then it, so if you try to put on a new trade it's not it's just going to take it right off it's just not going to allow allow you to do it and then once your daily uh or, or weekly goal is hit we'll go on the other side of it once your goals hit then um, you can continue to trade, but you have your allowance of how much you're set to give back, you know, whether you're chasing 50% or whatever it might be, or at least break even, you know, a minimum break even. So you may, I don't know if you're trying micros or whatever, let's say you're, 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 uh, you're trading micros and your, your goal is, you know, $100 and you hit your $100 goal. Well, your drawdown limit would, would go back to break even. So I, I even like 90% that way and cover commissions and whatnot. But that way you can still trade. And But now you're playing with house money uh, for the gamblers out there. So now you're playing with the house money. And if you if you lose some and you have some bad trades, then, then at least you're, you'll be stopped and you really won't lose the day, even though you'll be disappointed. But, you know, needless to say, you're not really going to hurt your big capital that you already earned. And that's called your uh, your dynamic drawdown limit because it's dynamic. It moves along with your with your goal. It's based on the high amount uh, of the week or the of the day, whatever your goal is set for. And then warning boxes will pop up um, if any of those goals or you know limits have been breached. Um, and then you'll get a warning. It'll tell you like if you're in a timeout, it'll tell you, you know, when it starts. And so you got a 15 minute timeout. Um, now there was a lot of discussion regarding the reset. You know, I've had people call me up and say, "Is there a way to lock this out, and so I can cannot get get back into it?" And or there was somebody that said they wanted to be able to give a password to their spouse. You know, so that way when they when they broke rules or whatever, that only the spouse could <laughs> was more or less the manager. And uh, after you know some legal questions and things like that, is that we cannot technically stop you from trading your own account but it makes it really hard you can reset it but it, it's it's going to kind of get you out of the the area by the time you shut everything down and, and all that so um at the end it was realized that you know you're the owner and it's your business and if you want to trade and blow up your account you can but it, again it just makes it a little harder to do so and with that said if you do opt to reset 
you just have, you have to you know reopen the discipline manager and navigate around and get the questions done and then hit reset and and go in there and then relaunch again but then you have to change the rules again so obviously because if you hit if you hit a thousand or if you have a hundred dollar drawdown limit and you broke a hundred dollars well then if you come right back in again it's going to be a hundred dollars and you already hit it and so it's just by resetting it the computer does not necessarily going to reset the your account it's based on your account you know with the broker so for instance right here here's some some settings we'll go through some settings uh of the discipline manager and um so we've got I, could just, I think you can see my error so you've got you got your accounts up here you're able to pull that drop down arrow and then pick the account or accounts that you want each account has its own rules so you could be trading a micro on one and then you could switch account and do minis on another whatever it might be so your your drawdown warning is going to be three i'm just using these hypothetical numbers but 350 dollars is your warning and your halt is going to be 500 dollars and your goal is going to be $500. So what will happen is, is that when you when you get to 30% um, of once you hit your dynamic goal, then you get 30% and then 50% is the halt. So for instance, down here, so you've lost 350 bucks and you're going to get into a warning situation. And that is kind of like follows the circuit breakers that, you know, if you've um, you know seen the market stop, they'll stop the market for a while. So this is basically a 15 minute timeout, if you will. And it'll pop up and, and give you a warning saying, you know, you're, you can't trade and it'll start the clock. And you can look at the clock and you could try to fake it, but, or you could just go get some coffee and, you know, kind of shake it up. Or maybe see what you're doing and reevaluate a little bit because you're not going to be able to put on another trade. And after that 15 minutes is done, then you come back and you start trading some more. If you get back up, you know, no problem. Everything goes as planned. If you keep going down further and further and further and you hit the 500 mark, then you're going to get the warning that pops up and says, you're, you know, you're done for the day. Uh, you've breached your goal and that's it for the day or the week, whichever it might be. So and then the same holds true for the weekly. So, you know, this is the daily and this is the weekly, but it's the same theory. Obviously, if you if you have, uh, you know, you double up your days, if you have two or three consecutive days of loss, you know, you got to account for that. Um, you know, if it's going to go through a Monday, Monday through a Friday type of situation and and you blow out on Monday, you want to have a little bit of money. You can't trade on Monday, but your weekly will allow you to trade the next day. So the next day you're starting with a zero balance, but your weekly is still is still accounting in the background and and, uh, you know, follows those steps. Uh, the features here that if you, for instance, if you do breach a goal and you do get kicked out, you have an option here to. Uh, use it on unrealized orders or not. By default, it's going to be realized, meaning for that is that if you, um, once you get out of a trade, it calculates your P&L and then you rather broke it or you didn't. If you want to do it on an unrealized, like in some prop firms and whatnot, if you're working on an unrealized P&L, that means it's going to take the P&L uh, uh, profit and loss intra-trade while you're still in it. And if you have that, you know, really tight, especially if you're trading NASDAQ, you know, it can go up. You have to give it, you know, some big swings. And so it can go up and, you know, intra-trade and pop you out just to come right back down again. And technically, would it, you'd be safe. But unfortunately, it popped you out at that at that uh, unrealized high. So it's, it's kind of an odd one. To, it, it's kind of hard to follow that, but, you know, it works. And um, I, I prefer the, the realize that makes it a little bit more easier when you're out. And the other one is that you close existing positions. So for instance, if you have two contracts and the first one is breached and it, you, you get a pop-up saying, hey, you've, you know, you've breached your, your goal or you've you know, breached your limit and you're done. However, you still have one open trade. Well, this check mark right here will, will close that, that trade and you're done. If that's unchecked, it'll leave that second contract on and you can hope and pray that, you know, you, it goes in your direction to get you out of that, you know, breached area. And if it does get you out of that, well, then you can continue on forward. But keep in mind that you're not going to be, if it does go against you, then you're down more than your original, your goal, because it's based on your, 
your uh, your realized P and L. So, and then down at the bottom, it shows you the uh, you know the P and L, your peak, you know where you've been, your P and L, you know losses and et cetera, and and where you're at. And there's that reset button. Um, it, you know previously tracked. So if you hit reset, it, there's more to it than just that. You've got to you know go ahead and shut down and go set your thing. So, but needless to say, it is available in there. So um, you can't continue to trade technically, um, but you'll be out of the area. Uh, this is not an indicator placed on your chart. Um, you don't need to have it open. You know, once you've set your rules and your rules are in play, then they're in the background. Now, if you want to keep it open to see stats and, and just to see what they are, you certainly can do that and watch your stats down at the bottom. But this will all be gray shaded, so you're not going to be able to make any changes because when you see this red down here, that means that, well, the apply is gone. You don't even see it on this screen here. Um, the only option you have is a cancel or reset, so you can't even apply anything new. Um, but as I say, it does run in the background, so you don't need to actually see it all the time. So um, I already talked about this, you know, as far as, you know, assuming you're your drawdown warning is $350, your halt set for $500. Once you breach $350, the disk manager will give you a, a circuit breaker saying, you know, 15 minute timeout. And this is what one of the warnings will pop up as. Um, pulls up as an error, it's a ninja thing, but needless to say, um, you know, this is the warning. It's got your clock on there. Oh, that's old. Oh. Um, it's got your clock on there when, when this is taking an effect, and that's it. So you're, you're kind of kind of stuck. <laughs> um, after your 15 minute timeout, you'll be allowed to continue to trade until the drawdown halt is breached, or of course you get past that, that area and you get back into the profit. At that point, you're not gonna be allowed to trade. And it, you know, it, it, that's it. And then that's the warning that you're gonna get if it's actually been halted and it's been hit and I'll give you the date and time and, and that's it. So if you, on a, on a happier note, if you hit your goal and you whatever your goal was, it, your goal has been reached and you'll get the notice saying, hey, congratulations, um, you know, your goal's been hit. Now we, your new daily drawdown limits are in effect. So those are different than, they, they can be different depending on how you set them up, but they're going to be different than before. Originally, the new the, the 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 initial drawdown is you know a set price and you can have a trailing if you want, but then once you've hit your goal, you know what do you want to do? Some people will um, say I, I want to give back zero percent. You know I mentioned earlier about if you want to play with house money, you can do ninety percent. You know leave yourself a little buffer there for slippage and and um, and uh, commissions. But needless to say, you don't want to give up. You know basically you could play with all house money and then you're going to be stopped. But on the other hand, some people like they don't, they're done. They, their problem is they, you know, they get excited and they feel they can conquer the world and no, they've hit their goal. They're done. That's it. I'm the day's done. You know, it's eight o'clock in the morning. We'll start day drinking. You know, that's it. So um, that's a good thing, you know, hit your goal and, and you're done for the day and you can continue to trade, but only by the percentage, if you allow, you know, 50% or 20, 30%, you know, whatever you're dealing with, with if uh, you're, you're able to continue to trade, but only uh, not to exceed that amount there of the drawdown limits. Uh, once your goal is hit, the dynamic drawdown is uh, effective. Um, so I talked about that, setting it to zero and setting the default to 100 will basically allow your, your balance is breached, giving you zero for the day. Um, most common drawdown rules I've seen is, you know, 50%, 33 and 25. And then I have seen a few zeros. So they don't want to, they don't want to give back anything. They just want to be done for the day. So that's all in the settings there. Well, I think I've got some setting slides that will go, go back on here. Um, as discussed earlier, the um, dynamic drawdown rules uh, also incorporate the circuit breaker, the timeout, and it'll stop for 15 minutes. After the timeout, you can continue to trade um, after the, unless your breach is halted, you know, halts you. Um, and then your second goal, you have two goals. And if you're, I'm assuming you're continuing to trade, so you have two goals. So you've reached your first goal. Let's say it's, if you're doing micro, a lot of people do micros now. So let's say it's $100. And and you've you've reached your hundred dollar goal, and 
And so now you're doing, let's say 90% and because you're going to play with house money now. So now you're going up and now you hit $200 and that that's your second goal. You hit $200. Well, do you really want to give back 90% of $200? So anytime you want to ch uh, change your goals or, or change your drawback, you really notice you, you need to change your percentage, you know, so that's, that's when, that's how you have to kind of accomplish that. When you don't want to give back so much, you need to change your percentage because giving back, you know, hundred percent of 200 is, there's a lot of money uh, that could be lost and you might not want to do that. So you might want to change your goal at that point. And when you get to 200 is to say 50%. So you're still trading with the hundred dollars. It's just that if you blow it, you're going to be leaving the day with $100. So, so that's what the whole purpose of two, two, uh, and, and that was a afterthought that came in after the, after uh, um, somebody, actually somebody suggested a lot of these things come in. A few of these things came in with suggestions. So, um, so we realized the balance a thousand dollars, your dynamic drawdown warning is 700, the halt is 500, your realized balance is 1500, your, uh, your dynamic warning is the 1,050 would be the 30% for the timeout. And then uh, once you've got your dynamic drawdown at 1,500 and you've halted at 50%, you're done at $750. So that's kind of an easy way to do it. Um, back in 2020, my gosh, four years ago already, um, we added these few other features in here. I don't think a lot of people are using them, but they were added because we had some questions and we said, yeah, we should be able to put that in there. So um, 9999, I, I usually just said as a, you know, I don't want it. A lot of people, I shouldn't say a lot, but there are some people that don't want warnings. Just let me go and let me be, let me deal with it until I get halted and that's it. So if you don't want a warning, you would just put 9999 in there and you'll never hit 9999 percentage. So you'll never get the warning. Um, the daily and weekly dynamic drawdowns level one and two, that's what I was just talking about as far as the, uh, the different levels that you could have one and two. And that's what that, and here's your setting, here's that apply button I was saying, once you've set your goals for that particular, uh, whether it be playback, if you're playing around with playback or SIM or whatever it might be, or a real account, uh, then once your goals are done, you hit apply and you go from there. And then in 2021, we added a few more things. And this is uh, because of the algos. I started getting into algos more. And, and uh, one of my algos, uh, you know, I, I like to have the stops on there and it chases up, et cetera. And if, if you have a strategy, if you are using a strategy that doesn't use stops and it just, you know, closes the position when it hits a certain um, uh, threshold, then you don't want to have that on because it'll stop you. So, but, but I like to see the stops. I like to know where they are. I like to chase them um, and go from there. And so I have that turned off, but I don't want you know naked orders though, on the other hand too. So if something happens with an algo, I think I've kind of overcome that now. You know we've we've cleaned some things up. Um, but needless to say, it's there as a protection. I do know there was one company, a funding company, that had multiple licenses of this because they were trading multiple computers and all that, and so they had this on each computer and different accounts, et cetera, and and um, and they had that on there, and because they would leave at night and leave them running. So um, I, I do know one time he called me and said, thank God and saved me. But needless to say, here's your stats down there. So if you did want to leave this open, um, you could just shrink this box to this area or actually just these three lines and you could just stick it on your screen somewhere if you like to see it, but it's not really necessary. Um, this file down here, this export, if you want to send me, I encourage you to send me your rules. So once you plug in your rules, just click that little button. It'll put a little small little uh, TXT file on your desktop and you can just email that to me and I'll tell you what's going to happen. And then you can decide if that's what you think was going to happen or if you were right and that's what's going to happen. So I can give you a little tutoring as far as that is concerned. Be happy to do it. Um, so here's the settings in full. So I had to break it down into two pages because it, you know, there's, so you've got your accounts as we talked about, your different countries and time zone brokers. Some people want to use the, uh, mo I would say most of the time it's the, the broker at five o'clock, you know, you stopped, but then some people want midnight. So it matches their broker's report. So you got to figure out what your computer clock is set for and then what your broker's, you know, what, what the broker says the day is over. And then as far as Ninja, you know, their day starts at five. 
So um, as I think we talked about this already. So you've got some max trades, 999, max business, that's all off. And then your daily goals, 1,000, 50%, you'll give back. And if you lose 75, you're done for the day. If you, yeah, if you hit your goal of 15, then you don't, no warning at all. Just 25% is all you're gonna get to play with, 25% of 1,500. And then the weekly is just a little bit bigger only because it's gotta you know, encompass the whole week. And the closing positions as we talked about, and then naked orders that we talked about, and then moving further on down the list, you got your other level. Oh, we start right here. Here it is right here. Uh, and then the stats that we talked about. And then you notice here was the apply. Oh, and the set is default too. So let's say now if you're running micros and and uh, and minis on different accounts, you really can't use that. But if you're basically just doing one or the other, you could just set one to the way you like it and hit default. So then that way, when you flip accounts and switch it to the next account, all those settings will be in there and then you can just tweak a few or however you want to do it. Um, so that's that. One of the uh, drawbacks uh, that we have on this, our main obstacle with the Disciple Manager, it can't suppress market orders. Um, we do, have, we have it right here. I have a ticket here. If you want to inquire about it, maybe we'll get it to the top of the list, but it's been there for over five years. And so I don't think it's going to go very, it's not a high priority, but anyway, we can't suppress the, the market orders because they just don't do that. Market order is meant to go in and that's the end of it. So um, you have to be careful, you know, if your bot is triggering market orders, then if, if you put on a limit order, it's going to take it right off in a millisecond. It'll just eh, can't do that. And or if you put a buy stop, something like that, if you put it out of the order, it'll recognize it in a flash of a second and take it right off. And so now you're going to get slick and you're going to say, all right, well, I'll I'll just put on a market order and beat it. Well, you could do that, and but you're only going to do it once or twice because as soon as you put it on, it will instantly take it off, and now you got stuck with commissions and maybe some some slippage. So if your bot is doing that, you want to be careful with that too because if the bot is placing market orders after it's already been breached and the bot is still running, then then it's going to keep triggering these orders and it's going to you know just basically rack up some commissions. Now Ninja does have a fail safe in there that if, if uh, orders are canceled, it will shut off the strategy. It'll shut off shut off strategies. But there are some some uh, algorithms out there that run off uh, in. Uh, indicators and i'm not sure how that would work but strategies will be turned off once they get kicked off so anyway it's one of the concerns that you have to be careful of but feel free to monitor that's progress so if that ever gets done that will uh we'll put that in there so it'll suppress the market orders but i can understand their reasoning for that but it is what it is uh so getting started currently we have uh subscriptions and and you know, I've I've started when I was starting trading. I I can't tell you how many indicators and CDs and things like that I have of of so many different, um, you know, holy grails, and I couldn't even tell you where they are anymore. I've switched computers over the years, and and uh, I don't even think I have them on the computer anymore. You know, so and I can't. You know, you're talking thousands of dollars on some of these things, and I I just always had a problem with that. And so I have kind of succumbed to the realization, I feel I'm just better for me. I feel that if the price is a little bit lower, that people can come and go. And I have found that over the years, I have found that people do it for three, four, five months, with the exception of you know a, a business that was doing it. Um, you know, they just have it longer. But needless to say, you have it for three, four, five months. And once you get knocked out a couple of times and you kind of, you know, that's it. I've seen people come and go. I've seen people come and got it and then they they've mastered it. And then, you know, five months later, they come back and start another subscription. That's fine. Um, but this way it's manageable. So if you have it for, you know, you get 20 free day free trials anyway. But I mean, after that, let's say you have it for a month or two and it's just not for you or it's not doing what you think it's doing. You, you don't feel that you've got this, you know, two thousand dollar piece of equipment that's on your computer now that you're not going to use anymore. So I, I to me, it just makes me feel better. Um, so it is on a, on a, you know, a PayPal kind of thing where it's just a subscription. You could do the annually or the monthly. And then, um, and PayPal takes it, makes it very easy to take your money 
So you just go in there under your, your wallet and you, you can cancel subscriptions anytime. You don't need to call anybody. You just go to your wallet and boom, it's off. That's all you have to do. It's all electronic or you know, however they do it in the background. It's all done. So you can turn it on and, and off and that's it. Um, as far as how to get it, so the first thing you want to do is go to trumper.com and you would go to this uh, the menu here on a, on a, this is a computer, but on a phone, it's a little menu up here on the upper left-hand corner. But anyway, go to algos, indicators. It used to be called tools, but um, we changed that to algos and indicators because that's what it is. And uh, it's going to be down under uh, the indicator section of it. And there is the discipline manager. So you would click on that. And under there, you know, read about it. Kind of just gives you a summary of what kind of I said, um, questions and answers, et cetera. There's an old webinar in there. Well, it's old. Um, there's the download link and then the contact form. So this download link is right here. And if you want to have subscription options, you can click this one right here. You don't need it to download. You can just download it, boom, and turn it on your computer and be running in five, five minutes um, once you put in your rules. So you could download it real easy. Um, but after your, your trial period, if you want to come back to here, you would click on the subscriptions and then you get your, your options of monthly and whatever. However, you know, for today, you know, because you're here and everybody's doing this, um, felt it, felt it, uh, obligated to, to do the thing. And so here we go. It's uh 30% off for a limited time only as part of the, uh, this, the discipline manager, you can download this, uh, the discount button as I call it. Um, on the uh, on the discount code page, we have a super secret button down there, and uh, it'll take off 30%, and it's gonna expire. Uh, it'll expire next week. I'm, actually, I think it's seven days. I'm gonna let it go seven days uh, until next week, since we got the weekend in there. Um, so how will you find it? So you can go to this is an old screen, but under referrals, now we have um, uh, now we have discount codes in there, but uh, under referrals. You'll find it and discount codes is there and you'll go to discount codes or here's the new version of it too right there. It's right down the, on the page there, just the hot link. Either way, if you go, let me go back. If you go back to the referrals, you'll see all these funding firms down here, by the way, uh, if you need some more information on that. Um, but then you go to discount codes and this gets changed all the time, uh, probably at least once a week or something like that. So you can sign up if you want to get into receive emails on this. Uh, they only go out once they don't uh, it's, it's not like it goes out all the time just when anything changes it'll send out an email and tell you what the the things are um there's some cautions things you read but anyway down here there's a discount code on this page right here and if you click that link it'll take you to the paypal and that that will then be for the 34.95 um again but that's after your 20-day trial so here's the thing with the 20-day trial. So if you if you if you downloaded it today, it's going to give you 20 days of free trial. But then at the end of 20 days, you're going to come here and it's not going to be 34.95 because the sale is already expired. So the sale is only good till next week until next Wednesday. So you'll you've only in essence only got a free trial of of the seven days if you want to get this price. And now once you get this price, it stays in effect until you cancel your subscription, uh, even if the price goes up. I've never I've never canceled everybody's subscription and had them renewed. So if you get this price at $34.95 and you stay on for 10 years, well, that's, that's what it is. And uh, so that's one of the benefits. So the other final thing we need though is just a contact form. So we know your know, machine ID and the third party ID, it's a third party ID under help. Um, under the Ninja platform, go to help and then third party ID and uh, there's some information on that, but just send us the contact information and, and that's pretty much about it. So um, let me just run through and there's some, my contact information if you need to get, get a hold of me. Here, I like this screen, how's that? There you go, this is, there's the COVID. Um, let me look at some things here. So this is being recorded, that's old, let me see. Renews uh, 97. Oh, that's the other guy. Uh, let's see. Stats was 2019. Yeah, the stats are 2000. Yeah, these slides are a little on the old old side. I probably should refresh some of these slides, but nothing's really changed. I mean, the market's still the market. Um, but yes, I did see there's 2019 and 2020 in there. So um, how can I start it now? I think I just covered that. Um, 
you just yeah, I think I covered that one already. Just go in there and download it. And then uh, where do you find the Discipline Manager on Ninja Trader 8? Oh, okay. So when you when you do install it, you know, so you download the file, you go to Tools and import Ninja Script like you would do anything, and then you you double click on the file that you just downloaded, and it says successfully, you know, uh, trust the person that you're getting this from, and then you've successfully downloaded. Once you go there under um, what was it? Uh, under new, under new, you'll go to uh, down at the bottom is going to be discipline manager, and that will pop it up, and you can go ahead and put in your numbers in there, and then you can hit apply, and when you hit apply for that particular account, so I would suggest doing it on sim or if it's live market or if you're going to do playback over the weekend or whatever the case may be, go ahead. Put it on that playback account, set your numbers, then take some take some winners, take some losers, do some things and, and see what happens. Make, make some purpose, purposeful losses and just to, uh, see what happens, what, what happens. And then if you do get timed out, you gotta you gotta come back 15 minutes later and then just keep going and take some more losses until you get a halt if you want to play around with it that way. Or make them just small for that matter, too. Um, so that's that's where you would find discipline manager after it is installed. As far as where do you find it, I think we already covered that. Uh, discipline manager is going to be under here, right there. So there's the file right there under algos, and then discipline manager under it's, a, it's listed under um, indicators, and then there's the file right there. Download free trial right there. So I think that's how you could find that, and that's how you can find it once it's installed. So I think that covers everything, and I think my time is perfect. Anthony, you have any questions? Anybody else have any questions? Yeah, thanks, Steve, and thanks for answering those questions. I put some links in there um, in the chat. If, uh, if you want to put any other extra links in there, I was trying to follow what you were doing there. Um, feel free to do that. Uh, yeah. Oh, I. S okay. Yeah, I can do that right now, real quick. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't. I was watching this thing. The questions over here. I wasn't even looking at chat. Is there any chats in there? Yeah, we got to manage both, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't see them in here. I was only we looking at the questions. It. Hey, that's okay. Some people don't even look at the questions. So you're doing oh, great. <laughs> I, I always look at chat because everybody talks about chat, but then I always says, no, when WebEx or whatever this is, webinar, go to webinar. Yeah, you go to questions. And so now I'm looking at questions and you're telling me that. All right. So is there any in how do I even find them? Let me look. I think you I think you did great. Did I cover it? I think any? you answered you answered everything. Yeah. Yeah, you okay. Did. So let me just throw this one link in in the chat just so we have it here. And you click on it. And that is where's the chat? Right there. There's the discipline manager, and here is discount codes, which you'll find there. And if you want to put your name on the list on that discount code, um, wherever that was, this one here, if you add your name to the list, um, then that way you'll be able to uh, get some emails of anything upcoming, whether it be webinars or whatever you want to get, the, whatever you want your name on the list for, there's different lists. so. If you want to follow Helix, which is the, the latest toy that we have going on, and latest meaning last few years, I should say, but under tools, uh, I think I went too far. Where was that? Uh, not think I'm, I don't know, it's in there somewhere anyway. Uh, Thank you, Steve. We do appreciate having you here on Trader's Corner. Ladies and gentlemen, if your emotions are getting in the way of your trading, it's certainly happened to me many times, and we'll happen again sometime in the future. Mr. Steven <laughs> Tremper of Tremper.com has the solution. It's called the Discipline Manager. You can learn more by clicking on the links in the chat box or by going to www.tremper.com. That's www.tremper.com. His tools have been a game changer for so many traders struggling with over trading and many other emotional issues that traders commonly face. Thanks again, Steve, for making our audience such a generous offer today and taking time out of your schedule to join us and come Thanks. back and see us on Trader's Corner. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you much. Thanks for having me. All right, bye-bye. Thank you.